Greetings! In this video, we'll talk about Multichart, what this tool is for, and how it can be used in real trading. We open a bar chart with S&P futures. Next, activate the Multichart button on the control panel and select the chart interval. Let it be daily. We click on the panel on the right side of the window and choose the days we want to load. Or just click on Auto Range and from the selected date, the days will be uploaded in order. And click Apply. Thus, the multi-chart allows us to see the dynamics of each day on one chart and find some patterns. Weekly intervals are also available. In the same way, we click on Auto Range and every week is uploaded in order. In this case, we see the dynamics of each week. With this tool, we can evaluate how each week started and developed. And similarly with monthly intervals. Next, let's talk about using Multichart in market analysis. Let's load daily intervals with one minute time frame. Select the current date and load other days. So let's take a look at the last week. Today is Wednesday, thus we turn off all days before Wednesday. And change the colors to brighter ones. You can remove a date from a cell and select another one by right-clicking on the date. Let's remove all unnecessary levels from the chart and disable POC levels. In other words, turn off all histograms except for the POC of the last day. There is a Merge Price button on the control panel. It allows you to build all charts from one point. Chart settings can be found in Setup, Settings, Bar, Tick. Here we can change the bar's width, the color of the current day's bars, and so on. Multi-chart settings are located in Setup, Settings, Miscellaneous. Here we can turn off the side histograms or change its size. And so, let's move on to market analysis. How can you use multi-chart in trading? Let's take the interval of the last 30 minutes after the market open from 8.30 to 9 a.m. And we analyze how the instrument was traded every day in the first half hour. This is the most volatile part of the session. And so, the first day, Wednesday, is a yellow chart. There was a slight consolidation at the open and the market went up. Thursday, green chart. Again, a relatively calm opening. Long consolidation within 15 to 20 minutes. And after the consolidation, followed by nice growth. On Friday, we see the same dynamics, a small drop at the open and then a long consolidation for 15 minutes, followed by a strong move of half a percent. Monday. Here the dynamics were a little different, but also we see consolidation in the first half an hour. Tuesday was a very tight consolidation in the first half hour of trading and a sharp breakout from the range. And today is Wednesday. Again, quite a long consolidation and subsequent growth. 
four of the last six days had the same tendency. Consolidation after the open, or a slight drop and consolidation, and move to the upside. Then we add other analysis tools to this scenario. A cluster chart with volume limits, a delta, a box chart, a tick chart for entry points, and so on. Let's move on to the next way, how to use the multi-chart. Analyzing the dynamics of each day, we see that on Monday, after rising in the first hour of trading, the price consolidated in a range and failed to break through the high of the day. After about 11 a.m., a gradual decline followed until the market close. Next, we analyze Tuesday, the pink chart. There was a different dynamic here in the first half of the session. But again, after 11, a gradual decline followed until the close of the market. Each high was lower than the previous one. The market was rather weak. As a result, for two days in a row, we observed the same dynamics of the market behavior in the second half of the session. Disable all previous days except the last two. Accordingly, we expect a similar market scenario on the third day, provided that the sellers manage to hold the upper border of the range and we see a breakout of local levels. This is exactly what happened today. The sellers did not let the price go above the day's high, and then we saw the breakout of the POC of the last day level, the maximum volume price of the previous day. Then, the instrument gave excellent entry points from the POC level. In other words, how could you think in a given situation? We have a certain short-term tendency. Market downtrend after 11 if the day's high is held. Next, we add significant levels on the chart. As a rule, we take into account levels from higher time frames. And then, we wait for the entry point at these levels within the framework of our scenario. Multichart is not a miracle tool using which you can earn millions. In this case, it does not mean we should short the market after 11. We only have the probability that the market will decline under certain conditions. And that is the scenario we are preparing for. Trading is always a work with probability. We do research, prepare scenarios, and wait for the entry point. And in this case, it worked out. After a solid decline, there was a rebound. After the correction, the decline will likely continue. You can see if there is a volume on the cluster chart or if the price holds the volume that appeared earlier. There was a rebound an hour ago. Precisely at the same time, there was a rebound yesterday. Not as significant, but still, the dynamic is the same. Thus, a multi-chart is an effective tool for finding short-term patterns based on recent market behavior. Using it with other volume analysis tools, you can build a very effective strategy. All these tools give you a real advantage on the market before other traders. If you have questions about multi-chart, feel free to contact our technical support. Thank you for watching.